Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode five of the MSB Coach MSBA. Got the A in there. Coach's Lounge. I'm with Brandon today on this Friday afternoon. How's it going, Brandon? What's going on, Dom? How you feeling, buddy? How you feeling? I'm all right. Today's been not. Today has not been a bad day. So let's keep that energy up for this weekend. I'd say. I hope so. We got a bunch of battles coming up this weekend. Yes, we do. A bunch of them. Had a couple weekday games go off a little early, but hey, mm -hmm. we got this, a the weekend is going to be packed with action. Yes, it is. Well, we don't. The only we can talk about transactions first. Let's just do that real quick. So we yeah. had Brian add. He got rid of Cabalion for Drapion, which I think fits well with his team because of size spam. Now he has an immunity. And he wasn't going to use Cabalion anyways, so I think that's... Didn't we talk about that one last week? There weren't any waivers for this week going into week five, I thought. It I was think just they're, my... they're active for this week. So oh. Like they're on their team now, so I'm just going over them real quick. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, sure. so the last time we recorded, we talked about them, but just so everyone knows, Drapion's on Brian's team now. The battle for Cabalion on the waivers went to Xavier because he was number one, and then... Because of his Pincurchin drop, we got Pincurchin now on the New Orleans Pelicans, who is also shopping around his number one overall pick, Rillaboom. I don't know if anyone saw that in chat. That, that's big. And Blake is also shopping Alchemy. So those are two Pokemon that are high picks being shopped around publicly. Public trading. Not private. Public trading. Public Talk trading. about These it. Like public stocks being traded. And then... The Bear Ticks picked up Mammo Swine, which is a good addition, I would think, to the squad. And then going into week five, Kangaskhan will be joining the Stone Journers, and Cherim is going bye bye. It's just too readable. I can't have it on the squad. And then the Venusaurs, Fuku, is picking up Alolan Persian, probably for beat up strategies and fake out for Obstagoon, which I think is a decent pickup. Alolan Persian has versatility. And support and draft, so I think that's a decent pickup. What do you think about those two pickups? Um, let's see here. I definitely like what Fuku did with the low and Persian, and this is this is uh, moves that will be legal for week six, correct? Mm -hmm. They cannot use them for week five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the low and Persian. I think he gives his team a little bit of con more control. He could, he has more fake out users. Uh, scroll up over to your team. Oh sure sure. Well, I can talk about my move. I Kangaskhan is it's got Scrappy and it's got Early Bird and Inner Focus. Those are all three decent abilities. Scrappy and Inner Focus are a little better because Inner Focus no flinch, no intimidate. Scrappy can hit those types. And Kangaskhan's got bulk and a high base stat total. And it has yeah. different moves. It's a, I think it's a really decent support mon. It's pretty bulky, so that's why I picked it up. Because Cherim is, is a support mon, but it's pretty easy to kill. And if you, if I bring it, you know what I'm trying to do. So I, I yeah. don't have that too much. So I see that, but like I feel like it is easy to kill. But it helps out your son team so well. Yeah, but... As I tried to pit, use it so well against Jacob, I kept trying to push it in spots where it shouldn't have came in, and I got obliterated because of it, because he didn't have sand stream, so I, you know, I just over-predicted with it. So that's why I got rid of it. I just think it's, it, it provides support, but I don't have, like, I don't know, it just didn't work as well as I thought it would, so that's why I'm getting rid of it. Yeah. No, I understand. Don't worry about it. So let's go. I got you, Chief. Oh, okay, thank you. Let's go over the week four matches. So once again, you guys, you and Noah, both beat me in pick them five and two for the both of you this week. I went four and three, so I'm not going losing record again on the pick them. But you guys got some decent picks. Will you let's start from the top. Let's start with Jacob Adam, week four. What, did you watch that battle? Um, I did not, no. Alright, I can I can go over it a little bit. I think Jacob made some, like, questionable plays. He, he didn't play bad. He played well enough to get to a game three. But I think he had, like, a good matchup. 
So I think that was, like, why he went there. But he kept going for, like, Max Quakes for a special defense boost when he was facing Mimikyu, Dynamax Mimikyu, and that's a physical Pokemon. So he kept mm-hmm. going for Max Phantasm against the Gigalith and, like, the respective members of his party getting defense drops, and he kept wondering, like, whoa, I thought I kept getting special defense boosts. Why is this happening? I don't think he realized that Mimikyu was a physical attacker until, like, game three. So, like, the moves he was making weren't actually helping his team because he could have just been going for Max Rockfall or even Max Steel Spike. And if he had it, I can't remember if he had Max Steel Spike, and do way more damage and help his team out. Rock for Stab and Sandstorm Chip and Max Steel Spike for defense boosts which he actually needed, rather than the special defense boosts that weren't really helping him out. I, that's what I remember from that battle, from just watching it. I kept questioning some of the moves, because he could have been making those moves instead. I don't know. If you didn't see hmm. it, then I can just go over it. That's no, no, no. Yeah. I saw most of them. That was just one of the no, that's ones I just didn't catch. I feel like I've been uh, that's talking crazy. a lot this one, so... That's well, no, that's just because you saw that one battle, and yeah. you went over the uh, tra- transactions. So mm-hmm. that's the only reason you feel that way, my good man. Good. All right. I want you to talk about your battle with Noah. My battle with Noah was not what I expected it to be. I definitely thought... Um, who I thought he was going to bring somebody he didn't. Um, let me go to my notes really quick. Sure. So prior to the game, I had talked to Noah, and we had discussed we would Are share. You tell everyone about this. I mean, at this point, I don't care. No, we, right? You already won the battle. Why would you give? Fun yeah, to like it, it already happened. You know <laughs> what I mean? Um, we decided we. I came to him and asked him. I was like, "Hey, listen, man, like." I'm a busy guy, you're a busy guy. I know we're battling last minute. You want to share three Pokemon you know you're bringing, and I'll share three Pokemon I know I'm bringing just to help each other out with prepping a little bit. This is like the night before we're supposed to battle. He's like, yeah, bro, I'm down. First, he asked me if I was serious. I was like, yeah, 100% serious. He was like, okay, yeah, I'm down. So I told him the three I was bringing, and I told him I was going to bring Kingdra, and then I told him last minute, I was like, hey, man, just so you know, King just could turn into Espeon really, really fast. And he said, okay, let me know. And I let him know, like, an hour, two hours before we were in a battle, hey, I'm bringing Espeon. But I will say this, um, his Whimsicott and Cinderor is pretty tough. He, he played that well, I like that. Uh, I was definitely fearing the Viabloom, but at the same time, when I have Charizard, I don't fear anything that's Grass. No, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'll tell you this right now. My Charizard is packing. Yeah, he always got it on him. Oh, yeah. It's a good fucking Pokemon. And then, I mean, there was the goat. Your man Luxray came in with four a four. He's was game one? Four kills game one? Game one, four kills. Oh, that was Four awesome. kills game one. I was not expecting that, dude. That was heavy stuff. I literally brought him for the Intimidate Factor. I was like, yeah, uh, I, just, I just need the Intimidation off. Let's go crazy. And the next thing I know, boom, kill. Boom, kill. I'm like, whoa, hold on I remember on game now. one, you O-Code his Dynamax Gallade. That, was, that helped you out big time. I didn't expect yeah. him to kill that turn. I wasn't expecting that either. That kind of shocked the shit out of me. I'm Part not going to you. thinks he should have went Tailwind first. No, beat up first, and then Tailwind. But I don't know if Luxray outsped Gallade. It might have. And I know Dragapult did, so... I don't know. But Listen, man. I don't I don't know. I, I didn't... I wasn't even expecting the, uh... The, because you went Tailwind first, right? I believe so. I think you went Tailwind. And then you still got the kill. Because you didn't kill. Yeah he, yeah, he went tailwind. And I, all I know is, man, that shit was crazy. Because here's my thing. I thought to myself, all right. Because I, I doubled into the uh, galley. Because my, th- my thought pro- process was, okay, he's... Whimsicott is probably sashed. 
So there's no point in wasting an attack going in there and popping the sash right now. If because I read the tailwind, that's what it was. I read I wasn't reading the beat up. For whatever reason, I wasn't reading the beat right. up. But I was like, I was like, all right, he's just gonna tailwind anyways. Fuck the whimsicott. I mean, darn the whimsicott. So this this podcast is not PG. I sworn like four times already. So just keep all right. going. Fuck the whimsicott. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let's just rock. I double into the Gallade. I'm like, all right, that killed. I'm fucking T. It's a wrap. As soon as that killed, I knew I was winning that game. That was and then such I thought, a good match. Immediately. And then game two, I was like, all right, Luxray, you got to go to work, fam. You got to go to work. And what did you do? Come back with another two kills. I was ex- just excited. Yeah, you played really well against Noah. I, I talked to Noah before the match. He was like, what should I bring? I'm like, hey, you know, he has this, but you could do this if you wanted, like, just, like, general advice. And he's like, all right, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. And then... He did what he did. I think he had a good matchup. And I did think, like, game two, like, he played pretty well. You just were in a better spot at the end of the game. But, like, I would say that they were good matches. It wasn't like Noah was overmatched. I just think that... Because the second game was 1-0, right? 2-0. 2-0? Oh, yeah, you got the Charizard Dracovish out there, and you killed them both. But I think that he played, like, relatively well both games. I just just don't think it was He didn't play terribly. No. He didn't play terribly. No, so I can't sit here and bash, bash this man. Honestly, he's honestly, player. and his team game was decent one, as well. Like it was just, yeah, yeah, it was bad. It was a good game. Game one goes completely different if he, if Galley doesn't die right away. Right. You know what I mean? Like if Galley doesn't get O code, or com- we're talking about a completely different story. Yeah. I might be looking at it as the uh, washed, washed. <laughs> Motherfuckers talking about Mitch might be better than me. Like, yeah, it's it's a problem. That. So I'm blessed. That, I'm blessed. All right, let's go to uh, Fuku Blake, dude. That Blake. That was a game. That was his match. That was. I can't. I'm trying to remember like what I watched. I just watched frustration. I know I watched some frustration happen, and I do yeah. know that he was talking mad shit about me. I'm. In, in his stream, he said, fuck Dom for this. I'm just going to say right now, he didn't bring half the shit we prepped for. Like, he prepped with three different Pokemon that he brought. So the fact that he blamed me for not putting one of his moves on his Pokemon was because we had an entirely different team in prep. So because he didn't bring that team, obviously you should have changed the moveset. I don't know why he was bashing me for it, but, you know, I still think he played decently. Like, he still played well enough to win. Just Fuku had a better advantage. I just was mad about that. Because I was like, dude, why are you out here blaming me when you didn't bring what we were using when we were, like, testing stuff online? We were just going through calcs and stuff. Like, I was showing him how to do some calcs. And his yeah, he did. completely didn't... different than what we, like... Like, I wasn't, like, saying, oh, bring this, 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 this. We were, like, well, just talking about stuff. And, I don't know. Like... Yeah, he was, he was definitely... He was definitely shitting on you. Yeah. In the, uh, in the chat. Talking about, yeah... <laughs> This is the last time I'm talking to Dom about prep. Yeah, it was... Well, we thought... I thought he was going to bring Hydra, Hydreigon. I don't know if he didn't have any EXP candies, but we were worried about Duraludon. Or else I thought Fuku was going to bring Duraludon. He's had, like, seven kills for him. And it's got a decent matchup against Blake's team. The fact that he didn't bring it was surprising. But it, we were going to have, have, like, a different move. And it would have covered two things, and he didn't bring it. And then it was just, like... Then he left the one cover off, so that's what happened, you know. But I still think it was a good match. I definitely thought Fuku was going to bring Duraludon, the battery man, for Blake. Yeah. Just to... just I thought he was going to get a lot of kills with that alone, you know what I mean? Yeah, the fact that he didn't bring it was good on his part because everyone was prepped for it, but I don't know. We'll see what if Blake has any words after this. But that's why I was upset, because I was just like, dude, I, I didn't... It's not my fault. Like, we were just going over stuff. You don't have to crap on me on your stream when you're not even responding to chat. I was in there try, looking for a response, and he didn't give it to me. Yeah, he was just talking shit, no yeah. response. Yeah. Talking the smoke. Absolutely, man. Whatever, whatever. Let's go into the fourth game, Justin Wait. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Before we continue... Is anybody else going to say that Tom and Brian would have a son that looked like Blake? I don't know. No one else sees that? No one else sees that. I don't really see it that much. 
I see it a little bit, but not... Blake acts, like, different than both of us. Like, he's not like this. I'm just talking like off this. looks. I'm just talking about he looks like you with facial hair, but Brian's facial hair. Oh, you're just talking about looks? Oh, yeah. Well, possibly. But we can continue. Next game, next game, next game. Well, Justin versus Xavier, I think that Xavier had, like, a perfect matchup. And I don't know. I don't know if Xavier – I don't think Xavier knew about Beat Up Justified, right? Yeah, he said he didn't know about Justified. I I didn't really understand because he has – he was trying to get Cobalion. Yeah. Like, so, like, you didn't know that's his best, that's, like, one really good ability, that's not his ability. Like, I just didn't know that. I just, yeah, I was shook, but, yeah, it's whatever. Well, I saw two opportunities, although it would have taken a prediction that Xavier could have taken at least game one. He could have Dynamax Porygon Z, and, yeah, he did do beat up, and then he went for a rock slide, but... He protected Hat, which, you know, no damage for Hat. But then he just let the Porygon Z sit there, and he did not outspeed Terrakion, so it just died to a Rock Slide. And it was like, if you Dynamax that, you live a plus four Rock Slide if you're Dynamax, and then you can get a max strike off and do a lot of damage to either one of those Pokemon. Then you're slow. Then they're slower than you next turn, and then you can kill one of them. I mean, yeah, you have to read that he doesn't go for a close combat at least your Dynamax. But, like, Hatterene counters that thing. So, if you just, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I said yeah. But, and then in game... No, 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 I, I definitely see yeah. what you're saying. And then in game two, he could have ran Rage Powder on Butterfree. So, then, like, every move, like, when his Hatterene Dynamax, he had a good advantage when he had his Hat Dynamax. But if he used Rage Powder on Butterfree, he doesn't take that unnecessary damage on Hat. It was, like, 35% Dynamax damage. Like, I didn't understand. I didn't understand why he would t- wasn't running Rage Powder on Butterfree either. That kind of blew my mind. And I, you know, so. I get the sash. Like he wanted to live and move to just get another move off, maybe a Trick Room or like a expanding force of DG or something. But like Life Orb Hat is such a problem that like maybe he should have ran Life Orb. I don't know. Yeah. But who knows? He had to predict if he went for CC or not, and he didn't. And then he just died to a rock slide. So. You know, it's whatever. It's you live and you learn, I guess, right? He's got to win a game. He hasn't won a game yet. So, and then speaking of someone who hasn't won a match, but has won a game, we got Mitchell, Mitchell Lee in the cut. Mitchell Benny Lee. Versus Benny. He hates it when I call him Mitchell Lee. He, Listen, man. It's disrespectful I love to Mitch. talk to your elders like that. I, I love Mitch. He had a good game against Benny. I will say, like, there was a couple times where, like, he relied on certain stuff a little bit too much. I can't exactly remember his battle, but, like, he played decently against Benny, you know? I don't I don't remember all the details. What do you think of that battle? Um, From what I remember, and we got to do a better job of, like, getting all the battles linked into the uh, Google Drive. Oh, yeah, I agree. So we can, like, have them all, you know what I mean? Like, week by week. Uh, we definitely gotta, we gotta get somebody we gotta, out of that. We gotta rip the Twitch streams. Yeah, like everybody. You know what I mean? Just so we can start having them save. And if you want to scout and see what people have been doing, they can do that. Exactly, exactly, exactly. We gotta start. With, hey, as soon as we finish this, we have to get on everybody about that. Yeah, um, I mean, that's just the thing. If someone doesn't record it, though, then it's not a big deal. Like, you know. Well, so at least one person has recorded every battle except for, like, two or three, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to. You know what I mean? At least one person. Record. Yeah. I mean, we don't have It's to not a force, it. though. If that, at, at least one person every single week, one person in every battle is recorded in the game. Yeah, it's just because for entertainment purposes, they don't want, they want people to watch, but. I mean, I'm not going to yeah. get on someone if they do a battle and no one's recording. Like, that's just, like, it's whatever. Like, you know. Yeah. That's just, that's not a requirement. But I do, I can't remember, because it was like a week and a half ago. Like, I do remember Dragology had the weakness policy, and he got off Yeah, the that shook the shit out of me. I wasn't expecting that. And then he killed with the Sludge Wave when both of Mitch's Pokemon were, like, near full health, and that's how he lost game two. I do remember that. 
I mean, it did not live up to the hype of the game of the week, but it was a good game, nonetheless. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. Maybe it was just a terrible No, no, no. It, was, it wasn't It was a terrible game. Don't yeah. do not do Mitch like that. I, I don't think don't it was do terrible. Like I don't think it was terrible. I think it was a good game, but I don't think it was game of the week quality. Well, at the end of the day, 3-0 versus 0-3. Yeah. Can Mitch get a dub? Can David beat Goliath? It's there's interest there, right? And, and whenever Mitch battles, I'm always a Mitch fan. You know what I mean? So I'm always rooting for Mitch. All right, I respect that. And then we had Josh versus Brian's battle. I watched this. Did you watch this? Josh versus Brian. I did. Yeah, I, I love watching I think, Josh. I straight. think Brian was just checked out after that first that crit in game one. Because in game two, yeah. he wasn't making any reads. He was just pressing buttons. It looked like once he got that, oh, I mean, the game one. Whatever said lot. super effective, he just clicked. Yeah, I think that, like, you could physically tell, like, when he got that crit, like, all the energy just got sucked out of that battle to me. And I think Josh just he he realized that, and he just went for the hammer in game two. Like, I think he played really well in game two, and I do think Brian played really poorly in game two, but game one probably would have went to Brian if he does not get crit. I was talking about this with Noah, and he agreed that that crit really didn't matter. I was unsure at first, but the more I thought about it, I was like, yeah, you're probably right. That crit was huge. So, because that killed Cinderacer, put it really low at health, and it couldn't live as much stuff anymore. But... I don't know. I can't remember. Right. I remember that now. Yeah. I remember that now. I don't remember what came after the crit that knocked the Cinderace, but yeah. I remember that. Cinderace, but yeah. The Weezing was really good in that match, just like controlling stuff, and so was Porygon, too. They just, they both were like vital parts to Josh's team. The Weezing was hilarious because it shitted on Libero. Libero. It did. It did. Fire protein. Mm -hmm. And then. He i go to me and Noah's battle. Oh, man. You know, I think that we both played, like, really well. And, I mean, I got a little bit unlucky, like, missing two snarls. Because I, like, look back and I'm like, those snarls would have helped me live moves or would have killed Comfey. That max steel spike without the snarl had 75% chance to Oko. It obviously yeah. didn't compounded with the snarl miss. Because if that happens, then that, the rest of that game... I have the He's advantage. Different. I don't have to worry about yeah. Lapras as much. I can just go for it. That Comfrey not dying really hurt me. But um, just leaving it there. See, that Urshifu switch in game two really helped me get game two because I thought about it. And if he didn't do that, then I don't know if I would have killed Urshifu or if Urshifu would have killed me before that. Because him switching in Urshifu to avoid the yawn on Lapras really helped me out. Because I don't he know had to, though. Kill Ar yeah, he had to. It's either Lapras goes to sleep. Because, or he just yeah, if Lapras goes to sleep, you would have killed Lapras. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think that was a really good match, though. I think that was one of the best matches. I One of the best matches I've ever had. Just one of the best matches of the season as well. Because it was really intense. And Noah's reads in Game 3 after that, like, the turn 1, they were just great. I tried to max guard or switch out. He killed Arcanine instead. He got me after that. Yeah. So that was impressive by him. And then we got two more matches. We've just been recapping this entire time. It's all good, though. We're doing good on time today. We yeah, got all right. Benny versus Josh, which happened this afternoon. I went in the shower for the end of game two, and when I saw Josh actually won, I was pretty excited. And I got that pick right. But let's talk about that. That Max Geyser in game three by Benny when he was dying. Truly Max, killed him. Yeah. I mean, truly, the truly killed him. Special attack boost was decent, but it didn't matter in the end. But Mr. Rhyme, he was cooking. He was tapping yeah. up a storm in that game. He was killing everything. I was yeah. confused why he Mr. Rhyme is for uh, Max Hailstorm after he had Psych Terrain up with the first Max Mindstorm because I was definitely doing more than Max Hailstorm. I would have went but I don't think it really mattered because the hail chip was also nice. So. Yeah, no, that max, uh, that max geyser literally killed him, and I felt bad because I feel like if that was any other move, that could have helped him out. Yeah, the game it one made a different spot. The, that sludge wave did so much damage. I forgot that sludge wave hit both Pokemon though. 
like all Pokemon. So when he yeah, so did I. Pokemon, I was like, oh dang. I do wonder what he was talking about when he said he had the wrong moves. I don't know if he meant for all Pokemon or just one, but yeah, I'm not sure. But I'll tell you this. I thought he was going to chew over the shit out of Josh because game one, he had him beat, yeah, yeah. beat him. And then Josh game two, he literally back. had him down. Yeah. And Josh came back with the scr-scr-scrafty. Sc- mm-hmm. He played really well. Josh played really well. He played like every move I thought he had to make. He basically did it to win. At least game two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Josh him. literally played. Josh won that. Like he, he definitely outplayed him. And then you can talk like, about your game if you want to keep talking about Josh or Benny. Go ahead. But if you want to talk about your game with Justin, or you, just uh, I in mean, because it was I, bullshit. I uh, won. I definitely should have won. Tell him how many moves. You seven missed. missed seven. seven missed moves. Crazy hack gods doing something. I don't understand it. It's BS. And he was playing Warzone at the same time. To add the disrespect, bro. He wasn't even fully invested in the battle. Yeah, that definitely hurt, but it's whatever. Still my, it's still time. my dog. Your team has a good matchup. You just got hacks. Well, this is also the first time I've ever used Parish Song. Yeah. Parish Trap. So I was I was using it on Showdown all day prior. And then I was like, I literally was struggling trying to breed this Meryl with Parish Song. And I couldn't figure out why I kept breeding a Lapras until I realized I had the wrong fucking genders. Oh, and then I had to get the right genders with the right IVs. And then I said, fuck the IVs. I just got the right move. And then I couldn't get a Meryl with the right IVs. And I said, F it. I'll just move some points over from Pokemon Home and then go get the main. It was just a long process. But yeah. once I figured it out and I got it, I feel like if I would have played him like an hour later or two hours later or like this weekend I would probably beat him because I would have been more calm cool and collected yeah that the hacks really killed me you especially really in three but your Charizard though that chip would have been really nice that game with max yeah I know fire. bro I'm freaking yeah. oh my that god because what happened was that move. what was the move that missed ice school crash yes you I didn't even crash. react when that happened because I was like oh, he's probably Hurt right now. I, I was I just I didn't want to believe it. But bro, um, week four against Noah T when he di- when I Dynamaxed him at the end, and he wasn't a G Max. I meant to save the game before I gave him the uh, Max mushrooms. So I forgot after that game. Like all right, whatever. Like it's whatever. And then when I was prepping for this game, I was like all right, I already I know I definitely did it last time. Like fuck it, I was uh, just bring this Charizard. You never saved. That's why I got. But it on didn't do it. So I got. Well, I had autosave, but I had heard about, like, that there was, like, uh, rumors that, like, the autosave wasn't working and, like, it was crashing people's games and stuff, so I stopped using it. That was months ago, wasn't it? Yeah, I just never turned it back on. Oh, yeah. It's never had a problem for me. Makes everything easier. I don't know. But you can get them next time. I do. Play them in a couple weeks. You got a tough schedule next week, too. I just looked. Oh, episode yeah. six is going to be long. Yes, sir. All right, well, let's go over the the picks for this week. We got five. So Serious, you're we only do. two so far. I'm one and one, and Noah's one and one. All right, so might as well just go up the ladder from the bottom, right? Yeah. You gonna, versus Mitch, who I'm you gonna, got? I'm gonna, let's start from the top, because I put them all in order. So Okay. Let's do Jacob versus Blake. Who do you got, and why? Let's look at the uh, rosters. Let's look at the rosters. Blake, can we, can we get some roster? Mudsdale, Alchemy, Hydrogen, Vickavolt, Sableye, Hitmontop, Darmanitan, Oh, Bronzong, Togetic, Jacob Scott, Primarina, Gudra, Seismitoad, G Max, Machamp, Gigalith, Inteleon, Jolteon, Scizor, Noivird, and Gengar. I'm reading it because Brandon's recording from his phone. So. I don't know if you can see my screen, but who do you got? I can. I can. Okay. Um, I'm going with Jacob. I think Blake is flustered right now. Oh. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I could trust that right now. All right. I need. I need. I'm already down 0-2 in the pickums. I gotta go, Jacob. He's a safe pick. His team is. I think. I feel like his team has got. He's got counters for everybody. All right. I respect that. I'm gonna take Blake. I think. I think Blake has just been 
you know, like nepotism. No, man, not nepotism, not nepotism. I have Blake because I saw he noticed that like he wasn't prepped enough for Fuku. He wasn't prepped enough for a couple opponents, and he's been having bad luck. I think that he's gonna find motivation. He's like, you know, I'm a better battler than this. This is how I feel too, and I'm pretty sure he feels the same way. He's probably just saying like, I'm a better battler than this. I need to, you know, show up because I'm not yeah. performing like I'm used to. So I think that- Or gonna make up. playoffs if you keep doing this. Yeah, yeah it's, I tell myself the same thing. So he's gonna, I don't know. I think Jacob's matchup might be better. I mean, he has counters for Mudsdale, but I think that like things like Bike of Old are gonna be really intense here. Grimstar Bro, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I feel you. But if Jacob gets rid of Darmanitan, what out Scizor? I don't know. On, like, let's be serious. Let's just be serious. Jacob outs Darmanitan. Unless Hitmontop is carrying Fire Punch or Fire I don't know. Blaze Kick. I don't know. Uh, I mean, Scizor can be dealt with besides fire types, but I get what you're saying. Bro, Scizor has such a good matchup here. It does. So does Primarima. Primarina. Uh, yeah, it does. I think that, but, like, Vikavolt can shut it down. I wonder if Blake tries to set up Trick Room against him. Like, Gudra and Primarina are decent in Trick Room, especially in Draft. And so is Machamp and Gigalith. They're all kind of slow. So maybe, I don't think Jacob will change, like, his Pokemon's, like, you know, like, their spreads or whatever. I think he'll just run, like, the... If he's running max speed already, he'll probably run max speed. You know, I don't think he's the type of person to, like, rebreed. Yeah. So I think Trick Room would really throw him off. But maybe he would. Maybe he hears me say this, and then going forward, he doesn't. If he does, all right, cool. But for for that reason, I think I got Blake just because I think he's going to come out with something new. You know? For sure. Who you got between Noah and Xavier? Oh, by the way, Noah Baker picked Blake first. And then he also picked Xavier, who has not won a game. Not even, let alone a match, a game. A game is... I think, I got no Troyer. I got no Troyer for sure. Same. I have to see something from Xavier. Like, I think he's been playing decently, but I think he can utilize his team a little bit better. Like, Rage Powder, or like, no, like, just predicting, I don't know, maybe scouting a little bit more on Noah's team. But, no, yeah. like, he has GMAX Snorlax, which can kind of go with the Trick Room stuff. But it's That's what I'm just, saying. That's why I got no Troyer. Yeah, but it's also, like, Xavier just... Incineroar destroys his team besides for Hat. So, I think Incineroar is his win con here. Like, if he can get Incineroar to do Incineroar things, I think he can win. We'll see I'm here for it. I'm trying to tell see you. see what Noah does. We'll see what Noah Troyer does. So, Fuku versus Adam... Noah I got Adam. Adam. Got yep, Adam. run it up. I'm with Noah. I picked Adam last week. He hasn't let me down. I don't think Adam... Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, I fucked up on something. I fucked up on Noah's... Uh, he picked Adam last two weeks ago, and I had that down as a win for him, but he actually picked the wrong person. So I'm about to take his record down a notch. Just notice that. Noah thought he was doing really well. He's not doing as well as he thought. He's 9 and 5. He's not 10 and 4. Good to know. Uh, anyways, I still got Adam. Until Adam, like, like when we picked Benny, like, I thought it was just, like, matchup based why we picked Benny, and he showed why. But I think against F Fuku's having some good tech, though. Like, Fuku is coming out with, like, real hard prep. You know, his roster matches up decently. Like, I think Duraldon versus... Let's see. How, would you, how do you think Duraldon would do against Adam's team? They're right next to each other. Mm. Like, it it, it... it fares up pretty well. Yeah. Togekiss fares up pretty well. I mean, I, I, I don't know if he brings Excelgore Palosan, but I still think that he can shut that down. Fuku probably can. He's got one of the Sacred Band mods. Magnezone. Gotta go with Adam. <laughs> he's got he's got three of them, dude. Tyranitar. And Mimikyu got banned. What happened to that boy? But yeah, no, I definitely got Adam. Got two. You got Adam? Yeah. <sighs> I said Adam. Let me look at this matchup one more time. Togekiss. Togekiss shuts down a lot of this team. 
Togi is also get shut down by a lot of his team. Yeah. Uh, I still got I got Adam. I got Adam. Even though it's a tough matchup, I think it'll be two one. Two one. Write it write it down All when right. you got it. You got a two oh? Two one. Okay, respect. Yeah. Highlight 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 Fuku's name. Highlight give him like a blue. Give him like a blue. Why? Everybody everybody picked against him. So I wins. like that. I like that. I don't. Maybe it should be. It might get confusing for people looking. Let's do yellow. No, blue. Like a light blue. blue. It's blue. the only color not on there. Just go with like Wait. a uh, nah, like a Chargers do? blue, sky blue. Let's do orange because okay. Because the do blue orange. is for the sword. orange is fine. All right. Fuku is orange. That means you got picked all three against Noah. I'm switching. That's a quick transition. I feel like an idiot for that. Kind of sounded ugly. I don't know. Noah? Oh, good. Versus Brian. Um, I got Noah. So so do I. So do I. I think, Actually. I think Brian has checked out after that yeah, crit. Like he, so that, do that I. just sounded like when he got crit, he sounded like, I don't know if he was upset beforehand or whatever. That just sounded like he didn't even speak after. He was hurt. Yeah. Like we were in the Discord. He was saying nothing. He just sounded big mad. I think that big mad. He got shut down. He he's shut down right now. I think Noah's is gonna come out firing on all cylinders, trying to take away, trying to get that top spot in Shield eventually, because that's a big race right now. We got four teams in Shield with one loss. Can you go to the standings, please? Yes, sir. We got Justin at four and one. Noah at three and one, Josh at four and one, and Brian at three and one. That's a tough race. You're out of the playoff race right now. You would be in the playoff race easy and sword. It's a dogfight over there right now. So I'm gonna wrap this hours later. I don't know who Brandon is picking between Mitch and I. I know Noah is picking Mitch. I think he's just gonna pick Mitch every single game. That Mitch plays doesn't matter his opponent. He's just rooting for Mitch that much. Me, obviously, I got myself. I need this real bad, so I'm coming out swinging, hopefully. And that's gonna wrap it up. I do know that the bulk of this recording is gonna have me sounding like I'm a robot. I didn't notice it. My audio settings were the same as before, and I just put them back to what they were again. And it worked. And the editing is not going to be as nice because I no longer have Adobe Creative Cloud. So F in the chat for that. But I found this free video editing window software on my computer. Hopefully it runs. So yeah. That's going to wrap up episode 5 of the MSBA Coaches Lounge. I'm Dominic signing off for Brandon and I. And... I'll catch y'all on the flippy flip. I think that's Brandon's catchphrase. I might, I might steal it. I might steal it. All right. Peace.